Hi, this short video is on the rejection of tissue transplant also called as graft rejection or tissue transplant rejection or graft failure. This is different from graft versus host disease which we can see in another short video. So what is rejection? It is simple. It is a process where the recipient T lymphocytes as you can see the recipient immune system comprising of T lymphocytes and antibodies they will react on the graft antigens that is the antigens that are being transplanted into the recipient. So they will act on those antigens and they will destroy the antigen present in the graft. So this is called as graft failure or graft rejection or tissue transplant rejection. This is in contrast to graft versus host disease where the vice versa takes place. So the major differences between a donor and recipient are the differences that exist in HLA allele. HLA stands for human leukocyte antigen. These HLA genes are highly polymorphic that means they show variations. Okay. So rejection occurs via two pathways. What are the two pathways? One is direct pathway and another one is indirect pathway. The difference is the acute rejection takes place via direct pathway whereas chronic rejection takes place via indirect pathway. By the way, what is the difference between direct and indirect rejection? Very 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 simple. See, I'll tell you the common thing first. In both the pathway of rejection, it is the donor graft that is getting rejected by the recipient T cell. Okay, so this is common. But the difference is which antigen presenting cell presents the antigen to the recipient T cell. If the graft or donor antigen presenting cell themselves present its antigen to the recipient T cell, it is direct pathway. Or if the recipient or the host antigen presenting cell pick up the antigen, then it is indirect pathway. So the difference is based on only the which group of antigen presenting cell picks up the graft antigen. Whereas in both the cases, it is the recipient T cell that acts on the graft antigen. So both this pathway will activate both CD8 T cells as well as CD4 T cells which will act via releasing cytokines. So both these cells will result in graft failure. Coming to types of rejection based on the duration, they are classified into hyperacute, acute and chronic. If it is hyperacute rejection, it occurs within hours but this is very rare nowadays. Acute rejection within days or weeks and chronic rejection which occurs in months or years after transplantation. Thank you.